I want to welcome you to my review of the Bauer 388 fountain pen. Now this, if you just take a quick glance at it, is quite clearly a Parker Sonnet knockoff. Now that said, I can't compare it to a Parker Sonnet because I don't own one, I've never used one. Uh, but definitely a Parker Sonnet look. And I've heard this comment from other reviewers, including JPL, a, a reviewer from Australia who has referenced this pen. Uh, so I, I kind of like the finish on it, you know, very attractive striped paint, uh, whatever type finish. Snap cap, nothing exciting on the finials. Uh, this is Bauer here, 388 on the other side. You know, smaller nib. I don't know how that compares to the Parker, but, you know. So I like this pen. Uh, but that said, it's a little bit scratchy. So... I'm going to try something different with this review. I'm going to give you a close-up as I write this first little bit. So let's get really close. I'm using Noodler's Concord Bream, by the way, as the ink. So, uh, of course, I don't flex. But I, I would say I'm definitely coaxing a fair bit of line variation out of this pen, so I think that's impressive. I uh, I like it. I uh, will be doing some nib smoothing now that I've filmed the review, but I like to film the review in its natural state, so I haven't done that yet. All right, we'll pull back just slightly here so we can get a better view of the writing. So I always do a couple different tests. I like to do wetness and flow. I apologize for the laggy camera right now. Bad camera. No trouble keeping up. And this is a very wet ink too. In fact, kind of a fun ink. It looks a lot like ditto. And it looks a lot like I'm a child the way I'm writing there. Uh, let's see, smear test. I'll bet it doesn't smear even though it's a very wet pen. Uh, the reason I don't think it will smear is because I know this ink and I was right. Uh, and then reverse writing, which honestly I have not tried because it's not something I do. Let's see here. Move this up slightly. Reverse. V even scratchier. <laughs> but uh, very, very fine. Uh, extra fine. Maybe ultra extra fine. I don't know. But very fine. Now, uh, this is a cheaper pen. It's a... Uh, you know, it's it's. I think it's very well made. It, it's very... Uh, it feels quality. Uh, that's a subjective feeling, of course. But it does feel very high quality. But uh, very inexpensive, and uh, but I think you're getting a good pen with this. Uh, cartridge converter pen came with a converter, brass threads, and all that business. Uh, the converter, you know, nothing to write home about, but nothing to hate either. It's just a decent regular converter. So when I do a fountain pen review, I always like to think about what's the value of this pen. Am I getting my money's worth? Uh, with this pen, I would say yes. You know, it's a lower cost Chinese pen. Very lower cost, as a matter of fact. Surprisingly lower cost. Uh, very quality feel, good fit and finish. I've not had the trouble dry, ink drying out on the nib the way I do with some Chinese pens. It's just a very nice pen. Now, a little bit slim for some people's taste, but it, it doesn't bother me any. Uh... Some people may complain about the knockoff thing, but I'd say, okay, if we're going to apply that to the Chinese manufacturers, let's start applying it to some of the other manufacturers who have very, very similar designs.
So, yeah, that doesn't bother me. I, I just, I'm very happy with it. Um, like I said, it will be doing some nib smoothing on it later. I uh, may experiment on a couple disposable pens first so I can make sure I don't mess it up. But, yeah, and it's not a number six nib, so if I do mess it up, I don't know if I can find another nib like it. So, that said, I uh, thank you for watching, and I would suggest checking out JPL's review of the exact same pen. So we'll see you later. Bye-bye.